Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here. So in a previous video, we looked at using a simple burrito roll towel for people who are overextenders in their lumbar spine. Um, today, we're going to be looking at kind of the flip side of the coin, which are those people who are tuckers, right? Who are really externally oblique dominant, um, drawing their ribs down, tucking their pelvis under. So when they get into supine, right, they're in this tuck, but what happens, and it's really interesting, um, when you try to get them into neutral, the bottom of the rib cage comes up. So this is a really common compensation because that bottom of the rib cage at T12 is really, really mobile. So that thoracic lumbar junction. So people cheat all the time. When we ask them to move their pelvis, they're really moving their spine and their rib cage to make it look like they're coming into whatever pelvic position, um, usually you know, moving the pelvis forward. So let's look at what would happen when we come down onto the mat if someone's a tucker. So if someone's a tucker, they're gonna be really shoving upward from the bottom of their rib cage to fake a neutral pelvis. So you want to get the towel right at that thoracolumbar junction, so right at the bottom of the rib cage. And then let them go ahead and tuck, let them feel and press into the bottom of the rib cage. And like we said in the previous video, you know, they might need more feedback. So they might need something that's heated under them to really feel that and then to keep the purchase of the bottom of their ribs down as they roll their pelvis into that lengthened neutral position, right? And so they have to really track that they're not losing the bottom of the rib cage as the pelvis finds its elongation in neutral. Because what is going to take them practice? Because what the tucker is going to do, even with something under them, is that they're going to come away from it to get their pelvis out. But then you have to coach them, right, on really keeping themselves into that heat as they're articulating the pelvis around the femur head, finding more of that anterior neutral position with all that elongation and not losing that thoracolumbar junction. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.